Today I'm going to show you how to make fall off the bone smothered chicken wings in the crock pot. This is going to be good. Here we go. Okay, so let me show you what I'm going to season the chicken wings with. Here I have chicken bouillon powder, Montreal chicken seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. I'm also going to use some lemon pepper and I'm going to combine this into a rub. Now the ratios for this are really up to you. Honestly, if I was not filming this, I would just eyeball everything, but I will put in the description below this video just some ratios that you can use to create the rub. Remember, seasoning, spices, salt, and pepper are to your taste and preferences. Okay, so now I've prepped my chicken wings, and let me show you. I clipped off the little tips because see how they come with a lot of these little feathers and things like that? It's just easier to cut them off in my opinion. I rinsed them and soaked it in cold water and that's that. So I'm shaking this rub all over and with clean hands I'm going to go in and just combine everything. So for those of you that follow me know that I love a good crock pot chicken or dinner recipe. So that's what I'm doing today. I was going to do this on the stove top but I want to show you an easier version in the slow cooker. Okay I'll be using one bell pepper green, red, yellow, it all works. I have orange. And instead of fresh minced onion, I'm going to use the dehydrated minced onion. You could use half of an onion and just dice that up. Okay, I have an eight quart crock pot. I have four pounds of chicken wings that I seasoned and prepped. Here I have my chopped bell pepper going in. And this is pretty much kind of like a dump and go smothered chicken wings. I'm also going to add my dehydrated onion minced. Again, fresh onion works. I'm also going to add this flour chicken broth slurry. This is what's going to thicken the sauce in the crock pot. So I have a can, this is 14.5 ounces of a low sodium chicken broth, a can of broth going in. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of Maggie seasoning. You could opt to use maybe two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and I hope I said that right, I always forget. Or you can do soy sauce if you want to use that. Now I'm going to add seven tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and I'm just going to mix. You could also opt to use cornstarch to keep this kind of like gluten-free. I would say maybe a quarter cup of cornstarch. So once this is combined, by the way, you don't want to use hot liquid, always cool room temperature liquid works best for no lumps. Now that this is combined, I'm going to pour it right into my crock pot. I'm going to add one dried bay leaf into the crock pot. I'm going to shake on some of that reserved rub just on top. Again, add as much or as little as you like. It really is up to you. Towards the end, you can always adjust the seasoning and taste once it's cooked. Now I'm going to cover with the lid. I'm going to set this to high, and this is going to slow cook for about three hours. So today I'm serving dinner with mashed potatoes, and I made these in another crock pot video, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So I'm going to make these Borsen mashed potatoes. It's really just this Borsen cheese with mashed potatoes. So I'm going to peel these. You could use gold potatoes. I like russet. I find that russet potatoes, when you're mashing potatoes, just gives a creamier, velvetier texture. On a side note, I am not a professional chef or cook. So if you disagree that the russet potato is a superior potato in mashed potatoes, I probably would say you are correct. You might know more than me. This is just what I prefer. <laughs> and it's usually budget friendly at my local grocery store. Okay, so I'm going to rinse these potatoes really well. I'm using definitely over a pound and a half of russet potatoes, maybe two pounds. And I'm just going to chop these into chunks, place them in my pot. And I'm going to cover this with maybe like a third to a half inch of water over the potatoes. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder. You could add maybe like a teaspoon or so of salt if you don't want to add that. I like this. Right into the water and then cover with a lid, bring to a boil, let it simmer until fork tender. So my mashed potatoes should be done. I'm using a chopstick, fork tender works. No resistance on the chopstick, so these are cooked through and tender. I'm going to strain out all the boiling liquid, but I will leave around half cup in the pot for flavor. I'm gonna unwrap this Borsen cheese and just put it right into the potatoes. 
Honestly, this idea is on their website. I remember this was like a mashed potato hack not too long ago. I'm adding hot milk. I put the milk into the microwave. That just helps to keep things warm as you're mashing these. And just combine everything together with the milk, the borsen and cheese. You can add salt and pepper to taste. And those are the mashed potatoes. I don't know, they are really good. And adding the chicken bouillon powder to the boiling liquid really does add great flavor. I know people like to boil potatoes in chicken stock or chicken broth, that also works. By the way, if you are new here, welcome to my channel, Simply Mama Cooks, where you can find easy recipes, subpar recipe video edits, and personal stories you didn't ask for. Welcome. <laughs> So the potatoes are done, and here I have some canned green beans that I doctored up with butter and lemon pepper. That's it, lemon pepper, butter, green beans. So it has been three hours, and my kitchen smells wonderful. It's just making everyone hungrier, so I'm gonna remove the lid, and I wanna show you. Look at this. These are literally fall off the bone. They are so tender, and the sauce, has thickened much like a gravy. And as it sets, once you turn off the crock pot and it kind of sets, it gets even thicker. But you know, if you want a thicker gravy, then maybe add an extra tablespoon of all purpose flour. I'm gonna garnish with fresh chopped parsley. And actually what I should have done is actually skimmed off that rendered fat that has pooled on top. So I'm gonna do that now. But you know, you might wanna do that before adding your garnishes. Now let me show you how the sauce has thickened. Just by letting it set here, it just, it'll eventually thicken quite nicely. But look at that, so good. So I have my mashed potatoes and my green beans on a plate. Now it's time for these fall off the bone chicken wings. So good, these smothered chicken wings. So if you want something simple for a smothered chicken or chicken wings, this is a great crock pot recipe to sort of make life easier if you have time. So I've got this plated up. Now I'm going to add my gravy right on top for these smothered chicken wings. So good. And the smoked paprika in this just gives it great flavor. By the way, once again, be sure to check the description below for the ingredient list and measurements and also other links to recipes or my other social media handles. So here is dinner and I'm ready to dig in. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.